morning. I'm Dr. Mary Ann Gale from New South Wales Health with the update for today, Thursday the 28th of October. In New South Wales, in the 24 hours till 8 p.m. last night, there were 293 locally acquired cases of COVID-19 reported and more than 89,000 COVID-19 tests. In terms of vaccination, across New South Wales, 93.3% of people aged 16 years and over had received a first dose of a COVID vaccine and 86% were fully vaccinated. In the 12 to 15 year old age group, 78.5% had had their first dose and 54.8% are fully vaccinated. In hospital at the moment, there are 381 COVID-19 cases admitted, with 82 people in intensive care, 38 of whom require ventilation. Of the 82 people in ICU, 65 are not vaccinated, 9 people have received a first dose of a COVID vaccine, and 8 people have received 2 doses. Sadly, New South Wales Health is today reporting the deaths of two people. They are a woman in her 90s who passed away at the Tarawana Aged Care Facility north of Wollongong, which is also where she acquired her infection. She had received two doses of a COVID-19 vaccine. The second death is a man in his 70s from southwestern Sydney who passed away at St George Hospital and he had received one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. On behalf of New South Wales Health, I extend my sincere sympathies to the families and the friends of those two people who have sadly lost their lives. In terms of suburbs of concern today, we're seeing particularly higher case numbers in the following areas. And so people who live in those areas, please be extra vigilant. And they are Lavington, West Albury, West Kempsey, Gregory Hills, Punchbowl, Yaguna, Bradbury and Raymond Terrace. In terms of sewage detections, our ongoing sewage surveillance testing program has detected fragments where we are currently not aware of cases and they are in Baraba, Moree and Urala. And finally, I'd like to note that we are seeing transmission occurring in indoor settings, including gyms and household gatherings, including in fully vaccinated people. And so it's an important opportunity to stress that you can still get COVID-19 even if you are vaccinated and you can still pass it on to other people. Vaccination does lower this risk, but it's not 100% foolproof. So we all need to remain vigilant and particularly as we gather indoors. And our vigilance is particularly important to protect those around us who may be particularly vulnerable to serious illness from COVID. And that includes people who are immunocompromised, the elderly, people who have underlying health conditions such as heart disease or kidney disease, women who are pregnant, and of course, children under the age of 12 who have, are not yet eligible to receive a COVID-19 vaccine. It's also really important to remember that even if you are fully vaccinated, it's very important if you have even the mildest of symptoms to get tested. And very important for everyone in our community that if you are unwell, please don't go out and about while you are sick. Get tested and stay home until you get your result. When you are gathering indoors, there are measures to protect yourself. Wearing a mask will protect you. Practicing physical distancing will help limit transmission, as well as washing and sanitizing your hands regularly. So again, if you are vaccinated, you can still catch COVID and you can still pass it on. 
However, vaccination does substantially reduce that risk and importantly, it also substantially reduces your risk of becoming seriously unwell. So please still do come forward to get vaccinated. If you haven't got your first dose or you haven't yet got your second dose, please come forward to get vaccinated. So again, thank you everybody for your continued efforts to get vaccinated, to get tested and to help limit the spread of COVID-19. Thank you and stay safe.